Yeah. What's your next? Who's your next witness? We we have another uh, video deposition. Raquel Pennington. It, it's a long one, so we could listen to some of it. All right. Let's we'll go ahead and start. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and start it today. At least get thirty minutes in. If we could. That's okay. fine. Yeah. All right. And Your Honor, just for your benefit and the jury's benefit, the questioning starts with Miss Vasquez on behalf of Mr. Depp, and then I question Miss Pennington at some point, which will probably be tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have you state your name for the record? Raquel Pennington. Uh, in what city and state do you currently reside? Los Angeles, California. You've been deposed before, right? Yes. And you were deposed in Ms. Hurd's divorce proceeding for Mr. Depp, is that correct? Yes. Have you been deposed in any other matter? No. What was the purpose of the declaration that you submitted during Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's divorce? The purpose of the thing that I wrote, which I don't know if it was technically called a declaration or whatever it was, it was to write down my account of events as fresh in my memory as possible. And Ms. Hurd asked you to, to write down your witness account, is that correct? I, I do not remember actually, I think. Did I don't know. Did Mr. Depp ask you to write down anything in support of any legal filings? I, I, I don't remember. So it's your testimony sitting here today that you don't remember one way or another, whether it was Mr. Depp or Ms. Ms. Heard that asked you to write down your witness account during their divorce. Is that correct? Um, I wrote down my account. That is the memory that I have. I wrote down everything as clearly as I could remember it as soon as I could. You provided a witness statement in the UK proceedings. Is that correct? I believe so. Do you recall how many witness statements you provided? Just one. And you provided this witness statement to the son's attorneys? I don't know who it got provided to. Did you testify in the UK trial? Um, yes. And for which party did you testify for the UK trial? I believe it was the... Um, publication. And by the publication, you mean the Sun? Yes. When was the last time you spoke to Ms. Heard? Perhaps six months ago, maybe more. What did you and Ms. Heard speak about? Probably, um, it was before her baby was born. So we were mostly speaking about her baby at that point. Did you speak to, when was the last time you spoke to Miss Whitney Heard? Um, around uh, November, October, November of last year. When you say last year, you mean 2021? Yes. When did you first meet Ms. Amber Heard? Um, I believe it was 2003. When you met Ms. Heard in 2003, you developed a friendship. Is that right? Yes. Would you say you were best friends? Um, we became very close friends. Your friendship with Ms. Heard has persisted through her relationship with Mr. Depp, is that correct? Yes. And you were friends with Ms. Heard through her divorce from Mr. Depp as well, is that correct? Yes. 
other than when you lived at the Eastern Columbia building, which we'll get to, did you ever live with Ms. Hurd? Yes. When was this? Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen to twenty eighteen. Yeah. Where did you both live? We lived on Holly Drive. Was that a home? Yes. And did you pay rent? Um no. Did Miss Heard? Yes. Sitting here today, do you still consider Miss Heard a friend? Um I wouldn't consider her not a friend. What does that mean? We don't speak. We are not enemies. Why don't you speak? Um, we grew apart. Shonda, can I put my question read back? Yes. Sitting here today, you can't give me one reason why you grew apart from Ms. Hurd. I wanted to spend more time with other people in my life and prioritize other relationships and other other relationships. Over the course of your friendship with Amber Hurd, did you ever see her using illicit drugs? Can you define illicit drugs? Not prescribed. Um, yes. Did you ever see her use cocaine? Mm. Yes. How many times? I don't know. Countless? No. Less than 10? Yes. Less than five? Yes. If you remember, when was the first time you ever saw Amber Heard use cocaine? I, I don't remember. Did you ever do cocaine with Miss Heard? Amber Heard? Um Yes. How often? Mm. Uh, not often. Was there a point in your relationship with Ms. Amber using more cocaine? Uh, no. Did you ever see Ms. Amber Heard use cocaine while she was in a relationship with Mr. Duff? think so, no. You know what provisional is? Yes. Are you aware that Ms. Amber Heard has taken a drug called provisional? Yes. Do you know when she started taking it? Uh, no. Do you know whether Amber Heard continued to take provisional during her relationship with Mr. Depp? No. Did she ever tell you that she had stopped taking provisional? She never told me that. Are you familiar with any of the side effects of provisional? No. 
Did Ms. Hurd ever tell you that she was experiencing any side effects as a result of her vigil? She never said anything about that. You testified you saw Ms. Hurd use mushrooms less than five times, yes? Yes. Each of those five times, or less than, was she in a relationship with Mr. Depp? Did you say each of the five times? Right. Not each of the five times. How many times that you observed Amber Heard use mushrooms was she in a relationship with Mr. Depp? Maybe three. Do you recall the specific occasions when you saw Amber Heard use mushrooms while she was in a relationship with Mr. Depp? Um, the first Coachella that we went to, the second Coachella that we went to, at Hicksville. Was Mr. Duff was Mr. Duff at Hicksville? Yes. Around June of 2014 you moved into one of the penthouses in the Eastern Columbia building. Is that correct? I don't remember which month, but I did move into the penthouses approximately in 2014? Um, uh, approximately. And Ms. Hurd at the time was in a relationship with Mr. Depp, correct? Yes. And it was Mr. Depp who invited you to live in one of the penthouses, right? Uh, they both did. And when you say they both did, they both sit you down and invite you to live in the penthouses? I don't remember how the invitation happened, but it came from both of them. This was a penthouse Mr. Depp owned, right? Correct. And specifically, the one you lived in, it was referred to as penthouse one, right? Correct. And when you moved in, Mr. Depp gave you a master key to all the penthouses he owned, right? It could have been um, one of his assistants. When you say one of his assistants, you mean Mr. one of Mr. Depp's assistants? Correct. So one, either Mr. Depp or one of his assistants gave you a master key to all the penthouses that he owned, correct? Yes. Mr. Depp never charged Mr. Drew for rent while he lived at Penthouse One, did he? He did not charge uh, him any rent, no. Did either of you get physical? No. And how was this argument resolved? We talked it out. You recalled another argument with Ms. Heard at Holly House, is that correct? Mm-hmm. What was this argument about? I think that we were setting up for Thanksgiving and um, we were looking for uh, maybe some glasses or some <coughs> dishware. We had just moved in and we couldn't find them anywhere. And then um, she finally found them in a place that I thought I had looked and uh, we started arguing about that. She thought that I wasn't uh, looking hard enough, I think, and I told her that I thought that I looked there. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what their argument was about. 
Um, was this just a verbal altercation or did you get physical with each other? Um, yeah, I believe that we, I believe that I pushed her. How did Ms. Amber Heard react to that? She, she either pushed or hit me back. Yeah. You know where she, where she hit you? I think it was on my cheek. Do you recall any other physical altercations that you've had with Miss Amber Heard? Uh, no. Do you recall any specific instances when you saw Amber Heard get into a fight with someone else? No. In the time you've known Amber Heard, have you ever seen her wear hair extensions? Uh, yeah. Yes. Did she have hair extensions in while she was in a relationship with Mr. Depp? I, I, I don't know when exactly she had them throughout the time of knowing her. I'm going to mark as Pennington Exhibit 1, Ms. Pennington's witness statement in the UK proceeding, which is dated June 16th, 2020. Ms. Pennington, first and foremost, do you recognize this document? Yes. Ms. Pennington, this is a sworn witness statement that you, you provided well, I, in the UK, right? I understand. I wanted to get to the bottom and make sure that this was the one that I signed and saw the date, and that was the full document. I just finished it. Yes, this is the document. Did you write this witness statement yourself? Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Yes. Thank you. Did anyone help you write this? Um, no. Did Amber Heard help you write this? No. Did Amber Heard's counsel help you write this? No. Other than your attorney, did you speak with anyone about the preparation of this witness statement? No. Could please turn to the 10th page of the document where your signature is or a signature is? Is that your signature on the 10th page of this document, Ms. Pennington? That is my e-signature, yes. Are all the statements in this document true to the best of your knowledge and recollection? Yes. You previously testified that you went on a trip to Hicksville with uh, Ms. Hurd, Mr. Depp, and some other friends. Is that correct? Yes. Do you recall when this trip occurred? not off the top of my head. Do you recall who else went on that trip? Yes. Who else was on that trip? Um, Whitney Heard. Nathan, who was um, one of Johnny's assistants. Um, Brittany Eustace, Kelly Milano, anyone else that you can recall? Trying to remember. No, I, I don't remember anybody else. Where were you all staying? 
at Hicksville Trailer Park. Did you personally witness Mr. Depp become, quote, angry and aggressive, end quote, toward a friend of yours? <coughs> yes. Relative to where Mr. Depp was, where were you when this occurred? Um, we were around a campfire. My question is a bit more specific. Relative to where Mr. Depp was when this occurred, where were you sitting or standing? I was at the same campfire. How close were you In to a Mr. Circle. Depp? Uh, six to ten feet. What time of day did this occur? Evening. Have you consumed any drugs or alcohol at this time? I think so. What do you recall consuming at that time? Um, I don't remember. Likely wine. I don't remember specifically. Do you smoke any weed? No. Did you consume any cocaine? No. Had you consumed any mushrooms? Uh, I believe so. Had you consumed any MDMA? No. Who was the friend that you referenced Mr. Depp became, quote, angry and aggressive towards? Um, Kelly. Kelly Sue. How did you know her? She was um, married to a work friend of mine. Do you have any independent recollection of how long you had known Kelly Sue Milano by the time Hicksville occurred? More than one year, less than two. What did you witness Kelly Sue Milano doing that evening? before Mr. Depp became, quote, angry and aggressive. I witnessed her hang out with the rest of the group. Did you see her consume any alcohol? Um, not that I remember. Did you see her smoke any weed? No. Consume cocaine? No. Did you see her consume any mushrooms? Um, maybe one. So or I'm 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 genuinely trying to remember. I saw I saw her eat some amount. I don't know how much. Did you see her consume any MDMA? No. You testified that Mr. Depp said words to the effect of, quote, get off my woman, end quote, to your friend. Is that right? I testified that. Did you personally hear Mr. Depp say that? Yes. Is this the, quote, angry and aggressive, end quote, conduct by Mr. Depp that you testified to? Yes. Other than telling Kelly Sue Milano, to quote, get off his woman, end quote. What did you personally observe Mr. Depp do that was quote, angry and aggressive, end quote? That was, that was what happened. Then I think Amber, I think they were, Kelly and Amber were hugging on a chair out by the fire. He came out of nowhere, said that, and then 
I think that Amber and Johnny went back to the um, to their trailer. Other than hearing Mr. Depp say something to the effect of get off my woman, what did you personally observe Mr. Depp do that was quote angry and aggressive? That's it. Did you hear Amber say anything to Mr. Depp? I don't remember her saying anything. Did you hear Amber Heard raise her voice when speaking to Mr. Depp? No. What, if anything, do you remember about Amber's reaction to Mr. Depp's behavior? She was trying to comfort him. This evening, Hicksville, did you ever see Amber Heard consume any drugs or alcohol? Mm. I didn't see it. You didn't see Ms. Heard drink any wine? Yeah, I don't I don't remember a specific time watching her take a sip of a drink. Was she holding a drink? I don't remember. And this evening in Hicksville, did you see Mr. Depp consume any drugs or alcohol? I I didn't see any specific image in my mind of him consume. Did you personally witness Mr. Depp, quote, in a rage, end quote, that Ms. Heard described? Did I personally witness the rage in the trailer? Yeah. No. Did you hear Mr. Depp yelling in the trailer? No. Did you hear Ms. Heard yelling in the trailer? No. Did you personally see that the trailer was, quote, trashed, as Ms. Heard described? The next morning? Yes. Yes. What specifically did you see in the trailer? Mm. The thing I remember specifically was the light fixtures had been knocked off. But you didn't see Mr. Depp knock off the light fixtures in the trailer, is that correct? I did not see it. So the only thing you know about what happened in that trailer is what Ms. Heard told you and your observations of the light fixtures being knocked off, is that correct? The only thing I know about what happened in the trailer is what she told me and what I saw the next morning. And the only thing you saw the next morning was that the light fixtures had been knocked off, is that correct? That was not the only thing I saw. It is the specific thing I saw. What else do you recall about the trailer? It was in a general disarray. What does that mean? It was trash. It was torn apart. What besides the light fixtures were thrown apart? I've already told you specifically, I remember the light fixtures. The rest is a general disarray. What is a general disarray to you, Ms. Pennington? Stuff off the counters, uh, cushions thrown around, things strewn about on the floor. Did you see Ms. Heard shortly after she returned from Australia? All right, why don't we just stop yes. right there? So that'd be a good breaking point, I think. Oh. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and break for the evening. Again, do not discuss uh, uh, this case with anybody and don't do any outside research. And we'll see you in the morning at nine o'clock, all right? Get some sleep, okay? As you remember, we were in the middle of a witness uh, last evening, so we'll continue with her testimony, okay? Did you see Ms. Heard shortly after she returned from Australia? Yes. How soon after she arrived back from Australia did you see her? I believe it was immediately upon her return. And she visited you in your apartment at the Eastern Columbia building, is that right? Yes. You testified that you observed injuries on Ms. Heard on this occasion, is that right? Yes. 
What injuries did you observe? She had these deep cuts on the backs of her forearms. And um, yeah, there were very, very deep, long cuts on the backs of her forearms. Did you see her feet? Um, at first, when she came over, she had shoes on, and then, um, and then she showed me her feet. Yeah. What specifically do you recall seeing on Miss Hurd's feet? They were just um, they were cut. It was smaller cuts than the ones on her arms. Were both feet cut? I don't remember if it was both or one. You testified that Mr. told you that she got these injuries from glass from broken bottles. Is that correct? Um, yes. You were not in Australia with Ms. Hurd when she allegedly sustained these injuries. Is that correct, Ms. Pennington? I was not in Australia. So your only understanding as to how Ms. Hurd sustained these injuries is what she told you, right? That is my understanding. You testified that you attended a Thanksgiving dinner with Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd in November of 2015. Is that correct? Yes. And this dinner was held in Penthouse 5 at the Eastern Columbia Building, right? Um, yes. And, and just to, for clarification, um, Penthouse 5 was not Mr. Depp and Mr. Hurd's primary residence, correct? All of the penthouses are connected. Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd lived in Penthouse 3, is that correct? Well, technically, they lived in all of them. They were all connected. Where did they have their re their bedroom? In which penthouse? Their bedroom was in three. Who attended the Thanksgiving dinner? I think that well Josh myself Amber Johnny there were a couple of Johnny's friends um, I think Amber's dad was there Jack Johnny's son I don't remember anyone else specifically do you recall what time you all sat down to eat dinner? No. Okay, but you testified at some point late in the meal, Amber went upstairs to look for Johnny and stayed up there for a long time, correct? Yes. And did Mr. Depp sit down to dinner with all of you? I don't know if we all actually sat down at one point. Did you see Mr. Depp at some point leave the dinner? I don't remember him leaving. I remember noticing that he was gone. Did you see where Mr. Depp left to, where he went? I either upstairs or out the front door. I didn't see it happen, so I don't know. Did you observe Miss Hurd consume any alcohol before she went to look for Mr. Depp? Yes. What was she drinking? Uh, red wine. 
Did she seem drunk when she went to look for Mr. Depp? No. Did you observe any injuries to Ms. Hurd when she returned? No. Did you observe any injuries to Mr. Depp when he returned? No. Do you remember that when Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd came downstairs, um, they were wearing different clothes? I don't remember um, Johnny changing clothes. I do remember that Amber changed clothes. Do you remember anyone that was still there when Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd came back downstairs? Uh, I believe Josh and myself. Uh, David Hurd. And I, I don't remember anyone else specifically who was still there. You also testified that when, quote, you went to look and found that a full bottle of wine had hit and broken a piece of art that Amber really loved above the bed and that broken glass was scattered all over the bed. Uh, did I testify that? Yes. Yes. Is that an accurate description of what you saw? Yes. And where did you see this? In what room? in their bedroom of PH3. How did you get to this penthouse from penthouse five? I went upstairs in penthouse, penthouse five, across the top story, which all three penthouses were connected through to penthouse three. The bedroom was also on the top story and all the way through and around. Do you recall seeing any spilled wine? Mm. I think there was wine um, yeah, I think there was also spilled wine on the bed and on the ground. Do you remember whether that bottle of wine was broken or not? Uh, I don't remember that the bottle was broken, but there's also plenty of glasses around with wine in them that could have been part of that. There was glass everywhere. So you specifically remember glass being everywhere upstairs. Is that fair? On the bed, mostly. What kind of wine bottle was it? Magnum? Red? Do you remember? It would have been red. Was it a Magnum bottle? I don't think so. What picture had been damaged? I think it was one of, um, oh. Eleanor Finney, I believe. What did, apologies, Ms. Pennington. What did it look like? I don't remember which one. You saw the aftermath? The aftermath, fair. So you don't know that Mr. Depp actually threw the bottle, right? I don't know. Ms. Hurd could have thrown the bottle, true? Sure. Could have. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. You say she could have have? She could have. And was the evening still happening after you returned from observing the bedroom? Yes. Do you recall any other issues happening, any further problems during the evening? I don't recall any, no. 
you remember providing deposition testimony about this Thanksgiving incident when you were deposed in the divorce proceeding? Um, if you have transcript of uh, that original deposition, I could take a look at it and, and recall. Do you have any independent recollection of testifying during the divorce proceeding about Thanksgiving? I, are you talking about the deposition or, or testifying? I'm talking about your deposition during the divorce proceeding. She's not the direction. I remember the depot, but I, it was a very long depot and a lot of topics were covered. So do you remember during the depot testifying that Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard returned to dinner? Mr. Depp was, quote, acting like nothing had happened. Do you remember that testimony? I don't yes. remember the specifics of the testimony. Okay. So can... Uh, Videographer, would you mind or tech uh, pulling up uh, Ms. Clinton's July 14, 2016 depo deposition transcript? December. Uh, July 14, Where am I um, looking in the document? Yeah, if you could please scroll down to page 238. Ms. Pennington, if you could look on page 238 of your deposition transcript from July 14, 2016, line 23. And if you could read to yourself through page 240, line 18. You have control. Um, I... You have control. Yeah. Um, sorry, it's just I don't have like the scrolly things. So I just have to. Look at page and go. You can do this now. Um, um. Uh, what am I, what line am I reading down to? Page 240, line 18. So you testified at your deposition that after Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard returned to dinner, Mr. Depp was, quote, acting like nothing happened. Do you remember that? Um, yeah, the, the night has faded in my memory, but as I read this, yeah. Is that an accurate description of what you observed Mr. Depp that evening? This description? Yeah. 
with your observation the evening of Thanksgiving <coughs> that you couldn't tell whether Mr. Depp was drunk or angry, that he just put on a facade? Um, I, yeah, I couldn't tell what he was feeling. I didn't know what was going on. And you couldn't tell if he was drunk, correct? I couldn't tell. And you couldn't tell if he was angry that evening either? Well, I can't say what anybody else's emotions are at any time. So you didn't perceive him being angry in front of you that evening? At me, no. At anyone? Not that I recall. So fair to say that Mr. Depp not seemed angry to you when he came downstairs after <laughs> the Thanksgiving dinner, right? He didn't seem any particular way to me. She testified that in December of 2015, Amber called you over to her apartment so that you could check her out. Is that a correct statement? You testified to that? Yes. Okay, my question was, after you arrived, you observed injuries to Ms. Hurd, right? Yes. Do you remember seeing that her head was blood, was bloody where a chunk of hair had been ripped out of the back of her head? Yeah. Yes. Was her head actively bleeding when you saw her? Um, it was, um, it wasn't like dripping down her her head, but it was raw and red. Was it actively bleeding, if you remember? Define actively bleeding. Was there blood? Yes. How could you tell hair had been ripped out of her head? There was a bloody patch with hair missing. Where was her face red? Her whole face. Could the redness have been from crying? It could have been. Where did her nose appear to be swollen? <coughs> um, It'd be like the upper bridge. Did you observe that Miss Heard had any black eyes? Um, not that I recall. Was there blood on her lips when you saw her? It was a cut open. Was there blood coming out of that cut? Um, I, I don't remember if there was blood coming out of it at that point. Was it on the top or bottom lip? It was on the bottom. Gotcha. Before we go there, have any independent recollection of seeing a laceration on Ms. Hurd's forehead? There were many times that I saw injuries on her. If you would like to show me a photo or point me to another place where I can remember which injury I, I, was sorry. in which instance, then I can answer the question. So you testified that Ms. Hurd had a laceration on her forehead when you saw her, correct? Yes. If you remember, where on her forehead was this laceration? Uh, up by the hairline. Was it on the right or left side? Mm, I don't remember. Was the laceration bleeding? Um... 
I don't think so. Sitting here today, did you observe any other injury to Ms. Heard that evening that you remember? Uh, no. If we can go back to Ms. Pennington's witness statement in the United Kingdom, that would be great. So in paragraph 20, Ms. Pennington, you testified that after you saw Ms. Heard, you, quote, called for assistance from a private nurse who was part of the concierge medical service, which Johnny and Amber used. Is that correct? Yes. Is Erin Baran the private nurse you're referring to here? Um, yes. Do you know approximately at what time you called Ms. Baran? Um, evening. Do you recall Ms. Baran coming over to the penthouses that night as well? I don't know if she came over that night. Do you recall Ms. Baran providing any advice or recommendation to you on the phone? Um, I think she said to uh, maybe not let her go to sleep and to listen to her speech. Keep an eye on her. And you did that? Yes. You testified in paragraph 20 that on December 15th, 2015, you took pictures with Ms. Heard's injuries on your phone. Is that correct? Yes. Did you well, send your photograph? I don't know if it was on my phone or her phone. You see the third line down, you say with my phone. Oh, then it was my phone. Did you alter the photographs in any way, Ms. Pennington? No. Do you recall sending the photographs to anyone? No. Do you recognize this photograph? Yes. Amber's face with swelling on her nose, bruising underneath her eyes. And to confirm, you don't recognize whether you took this photograph or not, right? I, I don't know if I took that one. Okay. I'm going to show you a document that will be marked Pennington Exhibit 3. Do you recognize this photograph? Yes. Do you recognize this photograph? Yeah. Yes. Let's pull up Pennington Exhibit 6. Do you recognize this photograph? Yes. Did you take this photograph? Yes. What is this photograph depicting? the part of her scalp where the hair was ripped out. You've testified previously that you photographed a big clump of hair on the floor, which is blonde in color and clearly belonged to Amber. Um, do you remember testifying to that? Yes, I remember. Where did you see this clump of hair? It was um, in PH4 in the bedroom. And, and just to confirm, PH4, is this where Ms. Heard used that penthouse as a closet? No. Which penthouse did Ms. Heard use as a closet? Penthouse 5. How did you know that the hair clearly belonged to Amber? Hair had been ripped out of her scalp and it was her color on the floor of her apartment. But you didn't see the hair get 
ripped out of her head, right? Correct. And so your understanding that this was Ms. Heard's hair that was ripped out of her head was based on what Ms. Heard told you, right? My understanding that it was Ms. Heard's hair was what I saw on her body and on the floor. And the fact that it had been, quote, ripped out of her head, that was based on what Ms. Heard told you, right? Yes, and common sense. If we could pull up Pennington Exhibit 7, please. Ms. Pennington, do you recognize this photograph? Yes. This is a picture of a clump of hair on the floor that you referenced in your prior testimony? Yes. This is a picture of a clump of hair on the floor that you referenced in your prior testimony? Objection vague. Yes. Did you take this photograph? Yes. Did you take it on your phone? Yes. And before you took this photograph, did you move the hair in any way? No. Okay, so this picture is the clump of hair exactly as you found it, right? Correct. And when did you take this photograph? When I was taking the other photographs. And you didn't alter this photo in any way, correct? I did not alter this photo. Do you recall taking a photograph of a wooden platform bed which had a partially broken bed frame? Uh, I do. And did you photograph the bed just as you found it? Yes. You didn't move anything off or onto the bed? No. Where was the bed broken, if you remember? It was a platform bed, and the edge of the platform had like a, a long shard of wood uh, uh, off the corner or like off the edge. Where was the broken bed? In which penthouse? Four. In which room? The bedroom. I'm gonna show you a document that will be marked Pennington Exhibit 8. Bears the base number Pennington 5. Do you recognize this photograph, Ms. Pennington? Yes. Did you take this photograph? Yes. You see that on the left side of, of what I assume is the, the mattress and the comforter, um, there appears to be something on the bed. Is it possible to zoom in? Sure. You see in the picture there appears to be something on the bed? Yes. Is this something that was already there when you found the bed? I don't remember seeing that before. It's not something that you put on the bed, right? No. And you don't know what that is? No. I believe you already testified that the next day Ms. Heard was going on the James Corbin show, right? Uh, which testify? Which testification? Today. today. Oh, today. Uh, the next day, yes. And you were with Ms. Heard when she was getting ready for the show at her apartment, True. True. And was this in penthouse three? 
five. You remember that uh, Samantha, Melanie, and Adir were there assisting Ms. Hurd getting ready? Yes. Who is Samantha? Samantha uh, is Johnny's stylist and was also doing styling for Amber. And who is Melanie? Uh, Amber's makeup artist. And who is a deer? Her Amber's hairstylist. Do you recall anybody else being there? No. Did you hear Miss Heard tell anyone of these people about her injury? I remember her showing the injuries. Who did she show the injuries to? She showed Melanie her lip and a deer the uh, missing hair on her head. Ms. Pennington, I want to talk to you about Ms. Hurd's birthday in April of 2016. Um, you remember that after Ms. Hurd's birthday dinner, you and Ms. Hurd and some other friends were scheduled to leave for Coachella the day after? Yes. So after the dinner, I know you attended the dinner, but after the dinner the next day, when you arrived to the penthouse, you noticed shattered glass on Ms. Hurd's bedroom floor. Correct. What kind of glass was it? I don't know. Can you tell where it comes from? I couldn't tell where it had come from. Did you notice any other damage in the bedroom? I believe there was a broken lamp. The shirt had two dogs at the time, correct? Uh, at the time of this? Yes. Yes. And do you recall where the dogs were when you were in the bedroom with Ms. Hurd on April 22nd, 2016? Uh, in, in the bed. Were you concerned about the dogs injuring themselves on the glass? Yes. Did she look upset? When I arrived? Yes. She was asleep. When she woke up, did she look upset to you? Yes. What made you think that she was upset or looked upset? She started crying. <clears throat> now let's turn to the events of May 21, 2016. Okay. At some point, did Ms. Hurd tell you that Mr. Depp wanted to come to the penthouse to get some stuff on May 21st, 2016? I don't remember what exact day she said that, but she said that. I'll make the representation to you that we're talking about May 21st, 2016, when Ms. Hurd alleged that Mr. Depp threw a phone at her. So, um, do you recall knowing that Mr. Depp was planning to come by the Eastern Columbia building on or about May 21st, 2016 to collect some stuff. I remember that she told me that he wanted to come over. Do you remember who was at the penthouse before Mr. Depp came over? On which when? On May 21st, 2016. You were there, obviously, correct? Uh, yes. And Ms. Hurd was there? Yes. 
with Josh Drew there? Yes. Was Elizabeth Mars there? Yes. Were you all, were you preparing for uh, a, a jewelry show the next day that you were doing, Ms. Pennington? Um, I was preparing. Was anybody assisting you prepare for that show? Um, yes. And you were in Penthouse 5 on May 21st, 2016, preparing for that show? We were in and out of um, Penthouse 5 and Penthouse 1. At some point, Ms. Heard left Penthouse 1 and Penthouse 5, and she went to Penthouse 3, correct, at some point that evening? Yes. Sometime after Ms. Heard left to go back to Penthouse 3, you received a text message from her, correct? Uh, yes. Do you remember where you were when you received this message? Uh, PH1, Penthouse 1. Where was Mr. Drew? Um, with me in PH1. And where was Ms. Uh, Mars? She was either with us in PH1 or in PH5. And do you remember what you were doing when you received this message? No. What did you do after you received this message from Ms. Heard? I went straight over to PH3. Could you? when you went straight over to page three, Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard yelling? Uh, sorry, will you repeat the, just the beginning of the question? You broke up a bit. When you went to Penthouse 3, could you hear Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard yelling? Yes. Do you recall what they were saying to each other? No. Do you recall the door being locked to Penthouse 3 when you got there? The door was always locked. Did you have a key? Yes. <coughs> Did you use the key to open the door? Yes. I believe you previously testified that the penthouses three, four, and five were all connected. Is that correct? Correct. And so you can get from penthouse five to penthouse three without going out the main hallway. Is that right? Correct. When you entered penthouse three, only Mr. Depp and Mr. Bird were in the penthouse, right? Yes. Do you know where Mr. Depp was standing? Yes. Where was he? In the living room. What part of the living room? The sort of like the entry, like the in-between from the kitchen to the living room. And where was Ms. Heard? On the other side of the living room. Was she by the couch? Yes. And were they approximately how far apart? Uh... Eight feet, 10 feet. 
and they were both standing when you first came in? Yes. What's the first thing you remember, Ms. Pennington, when you entered the penthouse? The first thing I remember was just hearing them. I don't remember what they were saying, but it was verbal argument and then he continued to yell and I, I, I went over to her and then stepped between them. Where was Mr. Depp when you sat between them? He, the sofa is an L in the corner of the living room. The coffee table uh, fit into the L shape. Uh, Amber was on the far side. Johnny was on the other side of the L um, with the coffee table between them. At some point, Mr. Depp's security team came in. Is that correct? Correct. And that was Jerry Judge and Sean Beck? Yes. Where was Mr. Depp standing when they entered the apartment? In the space between the living room and the kitchen. And you were with Ms. Hurd on the sofa? Yes. Mr. Duff eventually left penthouse three with his picture. Is that correct? Eventually, yes. And he left you and Ms. Hurd in penthouse three? Yes. From the moment you entered House three until Mr. Depp left. Did you see Mr. Depp touch Ms. Hurd? I didn't see him touch her. Did you see him throw anything at her? I didn't see him throw anything at her. What did you do after Mr. Depp left house, penthouse three? We took Amber to penthouse one. Is that where Mr. Drew and Miss Mars were? I don't know where they were specifically. I don't know if they were in different places or, or which apartment they were in. What did you do once you and Ms. Hurd got back to penthouse one? She wanted her purse, so um, I asked Josh to go find her purse in PH3. Do you observe any property damage in any of the penthouses? Yes. What damage did you observe in penthouse three? Uh, he had uh, smashed a bunch of the, on his way out, I saw this, on his way out, he had knocked over a bunch of uh, items that were on the kitchen island, fruit baskets and bottles and, and things like that. Uh, that was the main damage in PH3. What damage did you see in PH5? In PH5, there were uh, photos that had been smashed off the wall. 
uh, items that I had been working on, on the table that had been thrown against the wall. Um, yeah. You um, also observed injuries to Ms. Hurd's face, correct? Yes. What did you see? Uh, her cheek was red and swelling. Do you recall when you noticed her cheek? No. But you didn't see how this occurred, right? I didn't see. At some point, two police officers arrived. Is that correct? At two points, two police officers arrived. <laughs> Before the first set of police officers showed up, had you cleaned up any of the damage in penthouse three or five? I don't remember. Where were you when the police officers arrived? The first set? <sighs> PH3. Um, did you see Mr. speak to the officer? The first step. Yes. Did you see the officers enter penthouse three? Yes. They look around penthouse three? Yes. Did they enter house five, the first set of police officers? I'm not sure. Is it your testimony, Ms. Pennington, that they, that the first set of police officers saw the damage you alleged Mr. Depp caused in Pentagon? I, I don't know what they saw, but there was damage there. And another set of two officers came later in that night. Is that correct? Correct. Between the first set of officers leaving and the second set of officers arriving, how much time had passed? <clears throat> I don't remember exactly. Do you have an approximation? how much time had passed? An hour or two, less than um, that? Less than three. Three hours, less than three hours? Less than three. In this time, do you recall cleaning up any of the damage to penthouse three or five? I don't recall. Do you recall Ms. Hurd speaking with either of the second set of officers? Um, no, I don't remember if she did or not. Did these officers, the second set, look around Penthouse Street? I can't guess, so I don't know. Ms. Pennington, <coughs> have you ever personally witnessed Mr. Depp physically attack Ms. Hurd? Yeah, can you be specific to physically attacked? Did you ever witness Mr. Strike Ms. Hurd? No. Did you ever witness Mr. Depp throw anything at Ms. Hurd? I never witnessed him throw anything at her, around her, yes question is, did you ever witness Mr. Depp throw anything at Ms. Hurd? No. Did you ever witness Ms. Depp kick Ms. Hurd? 
No. Did you ever see Mr. Depp physically injure or cause her an injury? I didn't see it. So that's a no, right? I didn't okay. see it. Your Honor, at this point, um, I start asking Ms. Pennington some questions. So we'll play that, but may we just approach to sure. just get straight on some exhibits, please? Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Are we ready to start? Yes, yes, sir. Now, now I understand that you've testified a number of times about um, some of the events that we touched on yesterday, right? Uh, yes. Has there ever been anything in any of those prior sworn statements or testimony that you've given that has prevented you from telling the truth? No. And uh, is all of your prior sworn testimony, including the testimony you gave yesterday, true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Are you here today on behalf of one side or the other? And by that, I mean on behalf of Amber or on behalf of Johnny? No. Are, are you, would you consider yourself adverse or hostile to either party? No. Any other time that you can remember? Mm, not specifically, no. Was there a name for what you described as Mr. Depp's different self? Yes. What was that name? We called it the monster. Who is we? All of us, me, Johnny, Amber and anyone else in the inner circle that was privy to the private things that would happen. How do you know that Johnny called it the monster? He named it that. You heard him refer to this other version of himself as the monster directly? either heard or uh, saw it written in a text. Did you receive texts from 
Mr. Depp um, referring to this other version of himself as the monster? I can't remember specifically uh, any of them. But you do recall hearing or reading Mr. Depp directly referring to himself as the monster? Yes. And why did you do that? She asked for my help. And over the course of your relationship, when um, when Amber needed your help, you tried to be there for her, right? Yes. What do you mean by scary? I was scared for Amber. I was sad for her and I was also sad for Johnny. Because he is my friend too. And I really wanted them to be able to get it together. Why were you scared for Amber? could be very unpredictable and she um, didn't have a lot of self-preservation what specifically um what type of harm were you worried about for Amber? Uh, in the beginning, I wasn't worried. Towards the end, when the um, physical abuse was more evident. Um, I was worried. I, I was worried for her physical safety. I was worried that when he turned, he might accidentally do something that was worse than he ever intended. When you say talk about um, uh, abuse. Is this signs of abuse that you personally observed? Can you explain what you mean specifically by that? Did you observe physical effects on Amber of that abuse? Yes. Um, you testified a little bit yesterday about um, an incident between Johnny and Amber that took place in Hicksville. You remember that? Yes. Tell, tell me as best you can everything that you remember about that. We were sitting around the campfire. I don't remember who the larger group was. And... Uh, Amber and Kelly Sue were sitting on a chair together, hugging, and um, Johnny came up and said, get your hands off my woman. And it was surprising because it was a very benign two friends sitting on the same chair, hanging out. And it was also surprising because Johnny had been hanging out with everybody um, in a friendly way and uh, a switch flipped when that happened. And um, Amber got up, went to go comfort Johnny and then, um, and then they went back to their trailer. How would you describe Johnny's tone when he said, get off my woman? At first I thought it was a joke. I thought he was kidding because it was so unexpected from the way that the rest of the night had been going. And um, 
And then at some point, uh, I think Amber realized that it was not a joke and got up to diffuse the situation. Did you perceive Kelly Sue to be acting inappropriately in any way toward Ms. Hurd? No. It is, had you seen, um, when you said a switch flipped in Mr. Death, that's, that was your testimony, right? Just now? Yeah, just now. Yeah. Was it surprising to you to see? No. And why not? He switched sometimes. And what do you mean by that when you say he switched? Johnny would be acting like his wonderful self for a certain portion of an occasion where people were hanging out or um, sometimes just privately at home. And I, can, I never knew what caused it. Um, the switch would happen to where uh, he would either disappear or go somewhere off by himself or um, his mood would change to something darker. And yeah. What do you recall? Um, and we'll get to 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 specific instances in a little bit. But when you say his mood would change to something darker, do you remember any specific examples of? Of, of times that you witnessed when his mood changed to something darker? I can't remember um, at this moment specific times when it would happen generally he would go away from where the rest of the people were Amber would follow to comfort. Sometimes they wouldn't come back. Sometimes they would. Okay. And um, t tell us about the next morning at Hicksville, what you saw and observed. I went to the trailer to go knock on the door. Um, I think they had already left though. I went in and saw the disarray. Describe the disarray as best you can. Um, like I said yesterday, the light fixtures had been knocked off. Things were strewn about the trailer, cushions off the um, couch bank. Over the course of, you, now you've known Miss Hurd since 2003, right? Yes. Have you ever known her to not like pick light fixtures off a wall? No. Have you ever known her to throw pillows and cushions off couches? No. Have you ever known her to get in a rage and destroy property? No. Have you ever known her to threaten someone's life? No. What did Amber tell you? Um, oh, well, did, did you ever have a conversation with Miss Heard about um, what happened in that trailer in Hicksville? Yes. I'd like to fast forward a little bit in time, uh, Ms. Pennington, to um, an, an episode that we talked about yesterday 
um, to, to some extent. Um, do you remember, um, being with Amber, uh, after something that happened, uh, the day before she went on the James Corden show in December, 2015? Yes. What do you remember? Um, and I know this is painful and emotional, but give me your best recollection of what you recall um, from that time period. From the night before? You were, were you with Amber the night before the James Gordon appearance? Yes. And were, were you with her the day of the James Gordon appearance? Yes. And did you observe um, Miss Heard and Miss Heard's residence the day before the James Corden appearance and the day of the James Corden appearance? Yes. So with that, um, tell me everything that you can remember starting with the day before. And I may interrupt you and, and ask you to, to, to clarify certain things, but uh. that's everything you remember. So she asked me to come over to her residence, PH3 or PH5. I don't remember which one I entered. And she was very upset. Her face was red, swollen. The hair had um, been ripped out of her head. I went through all of the penthouse. She didn't cancel. I don't think I even slept that night watching her just to make sure she didn't. that because you were worried she had a concussion? Yes. Why did you tell her that you were going to go take pictures throughout the penthouses? Why wouldn't I? Ms. Pennington, I'm going to, um, you, you, you saw a few selected pictures yesterday. I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you a number of pictures, um, today, uh, that, that we need to, to go through and, um, and I'll ask you some questions about them. Okay. Are you able to see exhibit 15? Yeah, I can see it. Can you, Ms. Pennington? Yes. Ms. Pennington, does this, um, does this picture truly and accurately depict um, Ms. Hurd's appearance on December, December 2015 um, during the night that you just discussed? Yes. Do you know whether or not you took this picture? I do not. that you were with Ms. Hurd that evening after the incident? It was. What room was this taken in? This is the bathroom of uh, Johnny and Amber's bedroom in PH3. What, um, what injuries, if any, do you observe on Ms. Hurd in this picture? Her right eye has a mark and a bruise. Her nose is swollen. There's bruising on her left eye as well. And exhibit 16 is up. What is this picture of Ms. Pennington? It is a picture of Amber's face with bruising and a mark on her right eye. 
swelling on her nose, bruising on the left eye in the same bathroom. And when was this picture taken? I assume the same night. Is that the night in December 2015 that you've been testifying about for the last few minutes? Yeah. Do you do you see um, behind um, behind Miss Hurd's left ear? There's a, a picture on the wall, and then a, 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 a writing a note above the picture. Yes. What is um, what is the that note signed? If you can tell. Steve. It, to your understanding, who is Steve? Johnny. And what does it say right above um, that? It says, you're Steve. What's the line above that say? Uh, eternally? Some all something always up three exclamation points love you eternally your steve and steve in that note um refers to the same man that you understood to have inflicted these injuries on miss Heard. Correct? Yes. And does this picture truly and accurately reflect um, what you observed on Miss Heard in that night in December 2015? Partially. When you said partially, um, what do you mean by that? You can't see the rest of the injuries. What other injuries are you referring to? the hair being pulled out. Exhibit 17 is up. What is this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? Amber's face turned at a slight profile with a bruise on her eye, swelling on her nose. And, um, when was this picture taken? Appears to be the same night, the moment of the previous two pictures. Does this picture fairly and accurately depict, um, at least in part, Miss Hurd's appearance uh, on that night? Yes. Exhibit 18 is up. What is this document, Ms. Pennington? It's a photo of Amherst's face with two black eyes and a swollen bottom lip. Did you take this photo? I don't remember. You said a swollen nose? Yes. Does this picture fairly and accurately depict, um, at least in part, Miss Hurd's appearance on that night in December 15, 2015? Yeah. Yes. Did you take pictures of Miss Hurd that night? Yes. You believe that you took this picture? I don't know. But in any event, it accurately reflects what Miss Heard, Miss Heard's appearance from that evening. Yes. Exhibit 19 is up. And I'm sorry this is so hard, Ms. Pennington. 
we just need to get through as yeah get through the best we can. What is this picture? This is Amber's face <laughs> turned a profile. Mm. Um, showing more of her bottom bloody lip <clears throat> and her right bruised eye. And what night does this, or when does this show Amber? It appears to be the same night and the same series of photos as before. Where was this picture taken, if you know? And, oh. Um, it's in the bedroom facing the, she's sitting on the bed and it's facing the um, windows. Was anyone with you and Amber that night after you came over? Um, I, don't, I don't think so, no. So is it fair to assume that either you or Amber took this picture? Yes. Does it look like Ms. Hurd took this picture? No. Do you recall taking this picture? I, I took a lot of pictures. <laughs> it would be, yes. Does Ms. Hurd's lower lip look like it's just chapped? No, it does not. Does it look like she just has a cold sore? It does not look like a cold sore. The bit 20 is up. What is this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? <clears throat> this is a picture of the, of Amber's hairline, um, a scratch injury on the hairline um, and my thumb holding the hair back so that you can see it. Is this, does this picture depict marks that you saw on Amber on the night in December, 2015 that we've been discussing? Uh, or the next morning. One or the other? Yes. And, um, Lucas, if you could just go back really quickly to the last picture, please, uh, Pennington 19. I may have asked you this, Ms. Pennington, but I just want to make clear for the record, does this um, picture fairly and accurately depict Ms. Hurd's appearance on uh, that night in December 15, 2015 that we've been discussing? Yes. Exhibit 21 is up. What is this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? This is a close-up picture um, of the side of Amber's nose and mouth. She has Did you a, take, go ahead, go ahead. She has a swelling and an injury on her bottom lip. Are there any other injuries you observe in this picture? You can see, um, you can see at the top of the photo, um, bruising on her eye and the small mark underneath her, underneath her bottom eyelid. Did Miss Hurd, uh, did she typically have that small mark underneath her eye or bruising around her eyes? She did not usually have that small mark or bruising underneath her eyes. Did she typically have injuries to her lip? Sometimes. And over the course of your friendship with Ms. Hurd during the time that she was in a relationship with Mr. Depp, how often would you all communicate? Sorry, can you repeat um, that question? During the time that Ms. Hurd was in a relationship with Mr. Depp, how often would you communicate with Ms. Hurd? Like every day? 
Um, when she was filming less, when she was home all the time. And you just testified, I believe it wasn't the only incident in which you observed injuries to Miss Hurd's face or lips, correct? Correct. Were there any other times that you observed injuries to Miss Hurd's face or lips? Yes. Exhibit 22 was a. What is this a picture of, Miss Pennington? Picture is uh, hair pulled back to show uh, the abrasion on the scalp where hair has been removed. Whose head is that? That's Amber's head. Was this, do you know when this picture was taken? Either the night of the event or the next day. And by event, you're referring to the event in December of 2015 that we've been talking about? Yes. Do you recall taking this picture, Ms. Pennington, of Ms. Hurd's scalp? Yes. Does this picture fairly and accurately depict the top of Ms. Hurd's scalp? Um, during the day of or at the day after the December 2015 incident that you've been giving testimony about? Yes. Exhibit 23 is up. What is this a picture of, Miss Pennington? This is a picture of a clump of Amber's hair on the black carpet in the bedroom of PH4 with my finger there to show the scale of the hair. Did you take this picture? Yes. When did you take this picture? Uh, either the uh, night of the event, the night of the event, the December, the occurrence that we've been talking about. In December of 2015? Yes. And um, how did you know that that was Amber's hair? Hair had been ripped out of her head. This is the color of her hair. It's her home. you said was in the bedroom of penthouse five four have you ever known miss Hurd to to pull out clumps of her own hair no miss Hurd ever uh, paint on bruises or use makeup to make it appear as if she had a bruise when in fact she didn't to your That's knowledge no the opposite what do you mean when you say the opposite she often had to cover bruises and injuries on her face with makeup. Did you see her cover bruises on her face with makeup? Yes. Can we pull up um, the document titled December 2015 ALH 28 underscore B? What is this picture, Miss Pennington? It is a picture of Amber. She has a small <laughs> mark underneath her um, right eye. She's her coat and her shirt on. They're in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen of PH3. Do you know when or approximately when this picture was taken? Um, the day following the December 
event or the day after, maybe. I don't know exactly when. And did you take this picture? I don't know. <clears throat> Does it fairly and accurately depict Amber's appearance um, on the day you described? On one of the days following, yes. Exhibit 25 is up. Do you know what this is a picture of, Ms. Pennington? This is a picture of um, the nightstand on the right side of the bed in Johnny and Amber's bedroom in PH3. It has a lamp that's fallen down. Uh, book of rolling papers, half a lemon, plastic coffee mug of Infinitum the Hill, which is Johnny's production company, a bottle of Tums, a bottle of tea, broken glass, and a, a small blue book on the floor that I can't make out what that is. Did you ever know Amber to break glass next to her bed? No. What's your knowledge about Mr. Depp's tendency to break things made of glass? My knowledge is that I saw him do it once, and then I saw the aftermath of him breaking glass many times. And on that evening in December 2015, did you see um, that, that we've been discussing? Did you see broken glass around the residence? Yes. Let's go to the next picture, December 2015, ALH underscore 509 underscore B. You've seen this picture before. What's this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? This is a picture of the platform bed in the bedroom of Penthouse 4. The edge of the platform bed has a shard of wood that has broken off onto the floor. Did you take this picture? Yes. When did you take it? Um, either the night of the event or the next day. And when you say event, are you referring to, what are you referring to? The yes. December 15th event that we've been speaking about. You said December 15th, you mean December 2015? Uh, yes, sorry, 2015. Where is this bed in the residence? This is in the penthouse four. It's the middle uh, penthouse between the uh, main residence, PH3, Amber's closet, PH5. This is the uh, one of the rooms that you walk through to get to, to go through the upper story of the homes. Have you ever known Miss Heard to destroy a bed frame? No. Have you ever known? Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no. Have you ever known Miss Heard to destroy furniture generally? No. Miss Pennington, um, in in all the photos that you um, have taken of evidence or incidents or the aftermath um, of incidents between Amber and Johnny. Have you ever done anything to alter those photos or you know, make them appear to depict something that wasn't actually there or wasn't actually real? No. 
I, I want to talk about the day of the, the late, late show. Um, when I say that, do you understand I'm referring to Amber's appearance on the James Corden show? Yes. The late, late show with James Corden. Um, <clears throat> were you, um, were you with Amber when she, um, when she got ready for her appearance on that show? Yes. Who else was present? Um, a deer that, uh, who's her hairstylist, Melanie, her makeup artist, and Samantha, her stylist. Did, um, were you there when her hair and makeup was being styled or put on before her appearance on James Corden? Yes. Did you see anyone um, paint on um, a, a wound on her lip or put makeup on her face to make it appear that there was a wound on her lip? No. Did you observe um, anyone ripping clumps of her hair out of her head? No. Ms. Pennington, did you, um, did you, um, to the extent that it's alleged that Ms. Heard had no injuries when she went on the James Corden show, um, what is your reaction to that? My reaction is that that is a false assessment or statement. And what's the basis for that testimony? Because I saw injuries on her body from the time directly after they happened throughout the next night, the next day, and as they continued to heal. In the, in the time that you spent um, with Johnny, did he ever express a similar sen sentiment that he was screw up or fuck up in his words? Yes. Uh, and what did you um, tell me what you can remember about the instances when he said that and what your understanding was of what he meant? My understanding was that he was sorry and apologetic and for what? For his behavior. When you say behavior, what, what are you referring to? Verbal arguments, physical arguments. And that was what he made clear to you in, in, in things that he said to you. Is that right? What he made clear to me in our conversations was that he was very sorry and that he was working to get clean and get better. And that he was asking for forgiveness and trying to um, think that he was gonna get better. Did you ever see him get better? Yeah. When? A lot of times. But did you ever see him get better permanently? No. Your Honor. At this point, we start questioning Ms. Pennington about May 21st. We're happy to keep going, but if, if you wanted to take a break, I think we're about halfway through this volume. Okay. Let's go ahead and take our morning recess for 15 minutes. Again, do not discuss the case with anybody and don't do any outside research, okay? Continue with your witness. Yes, we'll resume with the testimony of Raquel Pennington. Your All right. Honor. Thank you. I want to talk about um, the events of um, 
May 21st, 2016. Um, do you remember that night, Ms. Pennington? Yes. Walk us through um, what you recall about the evening of May 21st, 2016. PH5, I was getting things ready for a, a artist craft show that I had and um, making jewelry and my friend Liz was there, Josh was there, Amber was helping. We were set up in the downstairs living room of PH5 and Liz Mars. Point, Liz Mars, yes. Okay. And, and and your fiance Joshua Drew, is that right? Yes. And at some point Amber got a message from Johnny that said that he wanted to come over and um talk or pick something up. I don't remember what the exact message was. And I thought it was a really bad idea, but stop somebody from coming over to their own home and so Amber went upstairs to get ready for him to come over and eventually he showed up I didn't see him show up I didn't hear him show up he went to PH3 and uh, and then at some point I got a text from her or I might have checked in or I got a text from her that said um, come over so I tried to come over there and the door was locked their front door was locked so I went to go get my key I have a master key to I had a master key to all of the apartments and I came back, unlocked the door, and he was yelling, and I don't remember exactly what he was saying. And she was just, she was calling for help, and that had never happened before, saying, help, help me. I went and I uh, cut through the space between the coffee table and the sofa. And I went up to him and he was yelling and yelling. And I just, I put my hands up on his chest and I was like, stop, just stop. Just trying to calm him down. Um, and he, he hit my hands away. And so I just went straight over to Amber. She sat down on the couch, she was crying. And I just put my body over her and he came a little bit closer to us and uh, he was yelling at her to like get up or I don't know, quit crying or get up or something. And it was really loud and he was getting closer and closer. And I remember thinking there was this um, like big orange um, ceramic ashtray on the coffee table. And I was thinking, if he gets any closer, I'm just going to pick up that ashtray and like hit him with it because he was so close over us. And um, and then at that point, Jerry and Sean came in from the front door of PH3 and came in and they, you know, they were like, boss, boss, you know, come on, let's get out of here. And um Jerry always called him boss. He's like, boss, come on, come on, boss. Let's go, let's go. And then Johnny grabbed like his bat, his leather bag off the stool that was by the island. And he had a big magnum bottle of wine and he was just like smashing stuff off the island. And 
yelling. I don't remember exactly what he was saying. And then they finally, they finally left. And I could hear out in the hall, just like banging and smashing and clattering around. I was just holding Amber, sort of just waiting for the, waiting for it to pass and clear. Um, until a little bit later. And then I think Josh came in. Why did you get between and, and put your hands on Mr. Depp and get between him and, and Ms. Heard? I just thought I could calm him down. And when he hit your hands away and then you went and, and laid on her, why did you do that? It was the thing to do. How would you describe Mr. Depp's um, mood? I rate. Were you afraid that Mr. Depp was going to hurt Ms. Hurd? Yes. And when he stood over you, um, you testified a little bit to it, but, but describe what he was yelling as he stood over the couch. I don't remember everything that he said. The thing that sticks out the most is that he was, uh, he was just yelling at her to get up. To get the fuck up. Did you let her? No. And where were you, just to be clear, where were you when you received the message from Amber asking you to come over to Penthouse 3? In either P5, PH5 or PH1. You weren't already in Penthouse 3 when you got that text? No. It, to the extent that there are allegations that you were lying in wait in penthouse three before Johnny walked into that penthouse, how do you respond to those? That is not true. I will also represent to you, Ms. Pennington, that um, Mr. Depp's lawyer um, has been quoted as saying, quote, Amber Heard and her friend Rocky Pennington staged the May 21 crime scene to prove the abuse allegation against Johnny Depp. Is that statement true? No. Did you stage anything about May 21st, 2016? No. Did Amber stage anything to your knowledge about May 21st, 2016? No. Describe for us the damage that you observed Mr. Depp cause to the penthouses, to penthouse three. Uh, in three, stuff had been knocked off the kitchen counter Stuff had been knocked off a, a, a bar cart. By who? Um, by Johnny. I saw this happen on his way out. He was with smashing his, stuff. With what? With a wine bottle. What other it, damage can you remember Mr. Depp causing? In the hallway. There was wine spilled, wine splash spilled in the hallway. There was a dent on the outside of uh, PH1's door, front door. And then in um, PH5, where we had been getting stuff ready for my craft fair, uh, my jewelry and, and materials had been thrown against the wall and everything that was on the table was um, like strewn off of the table, thrown down. I'd like to go through 
um, with you some some photographs um, of the incident um, that we talked about. So can you pull up May 21st, 2016, ALH 7051, please? And and while he's pulling that up, Ms. Pennington, um, did you or, or either yourself or anyone else take photographs of the, in the aftermath of this incident? Yes. Who took photographs? Josh Drew. That's the only person that I can say for sure. Were you with Mr. Drew when he was taking photographs? Mm. I can't remember. Did you go through the penthouses to see where the damage has been done? Eventually. Um, Ms. Pennington, what, what is this a picture of, if you know? This is a picture of the um, living room in PH5 with uh, the, the back corner of the sofa, it has the beads that I had been working on and the stand that I used to display them thrown to the wall. Some of the beads are on the windowsill. The stand is broken. And did you, uh, does this fairly and accurately reflect damage that you saw to um, Penthouse 5 on May 21st, 2016? Yes. Exhibit 30 is up. What is this a picture of, if you know? This is a picture of the Johnny and Amber's bed, bedroom, bed in PH3. It has several photos, framed photos, um, stacked on it. And uh, do those photos appear to be intact? These do, yes. Do, in your experience, do those photos normally sit on the bed? No. Does this, um, did, did you witness, um, well, was this part of the aftermath of what Mr. Depp did in Penthouse 3? I, I didn't see him take these down, but they were not down before he came over. Does it fairly and accurately depict what you witnessed the night of May 21st, 2016? I didn't see this happen, but I did see this scenario. You, you, you saw the pictures, that, that's my question. Does this fairly and accurately depict something that you personally saw on May 21st, 2016? Yes. All right, let's pull up 7053, please. So my question, Ms. Pennington, will be, what is this a picture of? Um. Can, I, can the info thing move off to the side? You know, no, I, I don't, not in, not in this version of the pictures. Um, so I apologize for that. If you need it zoomed in or out. I, it's the landing of one of the staircases. And what do you see on the picture? It's broken glass uh, and something spilled on the landing of one of the staircases. I can't tell if it's uh, P3 or, or P5. Okay. Uh, does this picture fairly and accurately depict something that you observed on the night of May 21st, 2016? Yes. Did you never, ever know Miss Heard to smash glasses on staircases? No. Did you find that question vague and ambiguous, Miss Pennington? No. Exhibit 32 is up. What is this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? 
These are stairs appearing of the same staircase with broken glass on them. <clears throat> Does this picture fairly and accurately depict um, something that you personally observed the night of May 21st, 2016? Yes. 33 is up. <coughs> what is this a, a picture of, Ms. Pennington? This is a picture of the floor mat in front of the doors that would lead out to the balcony of PH3, and it has a broken, looks like top of a martini glass on it. Okay. Um, did you did you see um, this glass or material around this being broken on the evening of May 21st, 2016? Yes. And who broke this glass? Johnny did. And does this photo fairly and accurately depict um, something that you observed after Mr. Depp left Penthouse 3 on May 21st, 2016? Yes. Exhibit 34 is up. Um, what is this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? This is the uh, space between the cabinets in the refrigerator and the kitchen islands. Uh, it has a rug on it and it has a fruit basket and fruit on the ground. And do you know who knocked that fruit on the ground? Yes. Who? Johnny. And does this fairly and accurately depict um, this damage that you saw on May 21st, 2016? Yes. Exhibit 35 is up. Thank you. What is this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? This is the landing of PH5 that Amber's office was set up on. And this is her desk and her files and uh, boxes have been outturned and there's papers all over the floor and... And is this how Ms. Heard normally kept her office area? No. Does this fairly and accurately depict damage that you observed on May 21st, 2016? Yes. 36 is up. Is this that same office area? Yes. And is this uh, an accurate depiction of what you observed on May 21st, 2016? Yes. 37 is up. What is this a picture of, Ms. Pennington? This is a picture of two photos on the column, in the staircase leading up to Amber's office. The top photo is a group photo of Savannah, Whitney, Io, myself, Amber, Aaron, Brittany, Morgan. The we were in London. The glass is smashed. The bottom photo is a photo of Amber and me um, in France. Does this photo fairly and accurately depict damage that you observed on May 21st, 2016? Yes. 38 is up. What is this a picture of? Picture of a large bottle of wine on the floor. On May 21st, 2016? Yes. Is this the bottle he was swinging? Um, if you know. I don't know.
but it accurately depicts something you observed on May 21st, 2016? Yes. Did you, did you, um, did, did you notice you or Miss Heard or anyone that you were with spilling wine in penthouses that night in order to stage damage? No. And, and by what is this a picture of? I meant the whole scene. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, it's a it's a picture on the floor. Uh, do you know what penthouse that is in? Can you zoom out again, please? Three. Um, do you, uh, do you know who knocked this picture on the floor? Um, I didn't see it knocked down. Did, um, other than Mr. Depp, did you see anyone causing any damage? or knocking anything down in any of the penthouses on May 21st, 2016? No. And did you see Mr. Depp knocking things down? Yes. Does this picture fairly and accurately describe something that you observed on May 21st, 2016? Yes. Okay. Um, can you describe, uh, did, did you see any injuries on Amber? Um, on May 21st, 2016. <sighs> Just a swollen, like red swollen cheek. Let's pull up uh, the, the May 21st, 2016 ALH 7077, please. Yeah. And while he's doing that, um, did you, uh, I know we talked about pictures of damage in the penthouses. Did you take pictures of Miss Heard that evening? Mm. I don't remember if it was me or Josh. Were you present when pictures were taken of Miss Heard on May 21st, 2016? Uh, yes. Um, does this picture uh, fairly and accurately reflect observations you made of Miss Heard on May 21st, 2016? Yes. 42 is up. What is this picture, Miss Pennington? This is Amber's face. It's red. The right um, cheek and eye is more red and swollen. Her right, my left. Um. Does this um, fairly and accurately depict Miss Hurd's condition that you observed that evening? Yes. Can you pull up 7083, please? What is this picture of? This is Amber's face turned at a slight profile. Her eye is red and bruised. The side, her, the, the side brow, temple, and cheekbone. Does this fairly and accurately depict um, Miss Heard's condition that you witnessed on May 21st, 2016? Yes. And were you present when police arrived? Yes. Um, wh what, uh, were there two sets of police officers? Yes. And what penthouse did they come in? Penthouse three, both times. How close were you to the police officer? In the same room. Okay. Um, could you see damage that he had caused 
while you were standing there when the police officers were present? Yes. Did you ever hear Ms. Heard say, um, express any financial motivations for wanting to remain in this relationship with Mr. Depp? No. Did, did Ms. Heard ever express that if she went public against uh, with what happened on May 21st, 2016, that she stood to gain financially from doing so? No. Now, at some point after May 21st, 2016, um, Ms. Heard filed for divorce from Mr. Depp, right? Correct. And at some point she filed for a domestic violence restraining order against him, is, is that right? Yes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that line of questioning in a second, but before I forget, um, you mentioned Jerry and Sean Bett on the night of May 21st, right? Was there a space in the upper, the, the floor of the ECB where they would wait for Mr. Depp when he was in one of the penthouses? Yes. And, and what was that space? Uh, we called it the guard shack and it was a, a vestibule separate from the penthouses, except that a door from the vestibule uh, also connected to the door of the patio of PH5. Was the, um, okay, was it, if, if, if someone were in the vestibule or the guard shack, as you called it, would they have seen you go into penthouse three when Amber requested that you do so? No. Did you see Jerry or Sean or any security guards when you entered penthouse three that evening? No. Okay. Um, going back to uh, the, the domestic violence restraining order, did you accompany Ms. Heard to court when she got that order? Yes. I'd like you to pull up, uh, please, May 2016, Court Pennington 1292, please. And while he's doing that, um, do you know if Ms. Heard wore any makeup that morning? Uh. I, I don't remember seeing her put on any makeup. Was that rare for Miss Heard not to wear makeup? Yes. What is this a picture of? This is Amber and Jody, her publicist, sitting on the bench in the hallway waiting room of the courthouse. When? Um, the day that the uh, restraining order was filed. Do you see any injuries on Ms. Heard? I do. Describe what you see. On her cheek bone, right cheek bone is a uh, bruise. And how long after May 21st was this approximately? Um, I don't know, I don't remember. A matter of days, weeks? Uh, less than a week. Did you ever see any makeup artist paint on this bruise? Put a fake bruise on Miss Heard's face? No. Can you please pull up um, 
Pennington 1295, please. And, and before we actually, before we do, does this picture fairly and accurately depict Ms. Hurd's condition the morning she, uh, or the day she applied for the domestic violence restraining order? Yes. Do you know whether you took this picture? To the best of my recollection, I took that. Okay. And I'm going to ask you the same thing about this next picture, 1295. Ask, uh, to the best of my recollection, I took that. And does that fairly and accurately depict Ms. Hurd's condition on that morning? Yes. 46 is up. What is that a picture of? It is Amber at a slate profile in the same courthouse room. Her hair is behind her ear. You can see a picture of a bruise on her cheekbone. She looks like a skeleton. Did you take this picture? Yes. Based on your personal knowledge, is there any truth to the allegation that Amber did this because she's, quote, a gold digger? No. Ms. Pennington, um, you came to understand at some point, um, well, at some point, did you learn that Mr. Depp had, had lost the tip of his finger in Australia? Yes. And what is the, that other way that you learned that Mr. Depp had cut the tip of his finger off? He showed it to me. In addition to showing you, how did you learn from Mr. Depp that he had cut off the tip of his own finger? He told me. What did he tell you? He said, um, I don't remember how he said he cut the tip of his finger off, but while the nurse was dressing it, I wanted to see it. I also had a very small injury on the tip of my finger. Uh, and I, I continued to see it throughout its healing process, but I don't remember how he told me how he cut it off. But you remember that he told you that he cut it off? Yes. Ms. Pennington, I'll, I'll finish where we started, which is you've, you've given a number of, um, uh, you've, you've testified a number of times about the events that we talked about today, and I really appreciate you, um, you being here today and talking about these. I know it was tough and it was emotional at times. Um, if, is there anything that you would change about any of the testimony that you've given today or previously about any of these events? No. And you've done your best every time you've testified about this to tell the full truth about everything that you know, everything that you saw, everything that you heard, everything that you've observed, right? I have done the very best to tell the absolute truth exactly as I remember it at all of the points of time. All right. 